So we talked earlier that the motto for the B is everything about balance. Your biggest vulnerability is your nervous system. And this is because like the A, you naturally have very high levels of cortisol. So cortisol is a stress hormone. You probably heard about it relative to weight and it plays a big role in that. But it's kind of a, a catch 22 because naturally you're high in cortisol and then when stressed and who isn't stressed mm -hmm. you produce even more so it's very difficult for the bee to be in a state where their stress hormone isn't elevated and so that stress hormone causes a whole bunch of issues does this sound like mm -hmm. <laughs> this? Okay. Yeah. a little harder for me because i'm an o right and we have a different brain chemistry um you're also nitric oxide sensitive now we talked about that chemical a minute ago that's what allows your blood vessels to remain flexible as blood flow comes through if you have too little nitric oxide you have very poor nerve signaling if you have too much nitric oxide it leads to free radical damage so balance very much uh, comes into play here and then bees tend to have blood pressure issues either too high or too low one extreme or the other so once again, out of balance, uh, based on the nitric oxide. Anybody in here with blood pressure issues? No? Not okay. Always low. It's, yeah, low. Not, it's, it's not an issue for well, the doctor, but it's never But high. it could be too low. I mean, it's possible to be Maybe. too low, in which case you would faint. But, they, yeah. but you're just on the low side of yeah. normal. Yeah, mine has always been low, too. Okay. Like um, and, and, and we talked about this when we Old. first came in the room. Bees, more than the other blood groups, really need order in their lives. They're very much into aesthetics. Right. Right. They need things That's to be right. organized <laughs> and not chaotic. Mm -hmm. And so when bees live with O's, sometimes that's kind of interesting because oh, O's oh are God. creating it's chaos, right? Here. Not only can they stand it, they <laughs> like it, they're creating it. So this is typical, this is resonating? <laughs> okay, so one thing that's very typical of the bee is that they overreact to stress. And you can tell when this is happening because they will develop chronic fatigue. Am I describing you? Yes. 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 They will quickly develop chronic fatigue and it's almost as if they're on an emotional roller coaster. So that's a pretty good indicator when you're not in balance. They also have a lot of difficulty recovering from periods of stress. And unlike the other blood groups, they almost have to sleep it off. Mm -hmm. So you'll see people who've had just a horrendous day at work, they come home, they have a cocktail, or they go out and play basketball, or they do something else that to them is very relaxing. That doesn't work for the bee. The bee really needs to just hit the rack and, and sleep it off. And more so than the other blood groups, they need more sleep per night than the other blood groups, yeah. up to nine. <laughs> so this, yeah. Whereas I'm an O, and sometimes I'll get three or four hours of sleep a night, and then eventually I crash. But I can operate that way and just keep going. Mm -hmm but the bee consistently needs nine hours or more. So the resulting risk to you, Claire? Mm -hmm. Resulting risk to you are depression, uh, insulin resistance, hypothyroidism, and no matter what else is going on in your life, high stress exacerbates it. Yes. So you all more than some of the other groups, uh, just based on brain chemistry, have issues to do with stress. So it should be very clear that all the actions you take in your life should be about getting in balance and controlling stress as best you can, right? Now when you're working, you've got crazy relatives and you've got children that you're worried about. Sometimes it's pretty hard to figure out how to balance all that stress. Mm -hmm. But exercise is a pretty good way to do it and we're gonna talk about that in a few minutes. And I guess we're gonna to have to wait for her um, so let's talk just a minute more. As bees age, Alzheimer's is unfortunately in the picture. So that's a very good reason to get on a better diet and to try to control that stress than for some of the blood groups. Because Griffin will tell you it's not fun. So tell them what they're getting. Okay, it's uh, kale. And then we also have it in the protein blend powder for bee. Um, let's see, we put uh, a half a banana in there for each, and there's, um, sorry, we put lecithin in there, because I know lecithin is very good for bees and cognitive function. Uh, we put chia in there, and I'm trying to think, we had one more fruit. 
Um, I wasn't up there making it. I'll think of it in a minute. But do y'all like it? It's very good. Good. Excellent. Yeah. And almond milk. Yes. And almonds. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's everything that was beneficial on the chart. So. Yeah. 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 So oh, everything an apple. in there, an apple. An apple. Yeah. <laughs> so everything there really supports your body and should make you feel really good. You should feel mm -hmm. energy. And so when we look at the beneficial foods for bees, I'm going to give you just a minute to kind of look through this. This is by no means complete, but it's kind of a high level flyover to give you an idea about what your body benefits from. So these are actually synergistic. So continuing in the grain area, you'll notice no wheat up there. <coughs> Just in the cross blood groups like bacon, ham, and pork, really not good for anybody. So lots of you know wheat, uh, grain kinds of products. Mm -hmm. A few veggies. And you don't have to remember all these. I mean, there you any of the books list them. So let's talk a minute about substitutions, and I would be interested in your input on these two. So if you can't eat chicken, what about turkey as a substitute? Not exact, but it's close. Tomatoes, the DOU means depends on usage, so you, you can't really replace a tomato out of the garden that you're going to slice, but if you're cooking with something, you could use green chilies instead of crushed up tomatoes as a possible substitute. Lentils, maybe black-eyed peas. So B is for balance. Go forward. Now we were talking just a little bit about the genotyping. So good resource here. Anything you would want to know about, they know. Um, I trust everything they say. And I use them mostly for my own nutritional advice. So I try to get tested to see what's going crazy in the last 30 days every time I come in. But good counseling, good clean foods here, um, and everything you could want to know about a B if you want to read more about that. Mm -hmm. Will it go forward? So just wanted to talk um, a moment about genotyping. If you look at the bee on here, the bees can either be gatherers, although there are fewer of those. They can be something called an explorer, also fewer of those. Mm -hmm. Typically bees are something called a nomad. And it's not important that you understand necessarily today what that is, but it's a set of characteristics um, that control your aging. So if you can address what's burning you out faster, then theoretically you would live longer and live better, feel better. One more. So these are the three that are a possibility for a bee. If you were a gatherer, the challenge there is that the, the bee body conserves calories like you can't believe. And so at a time when we were in famine, that survival strategy made sense. But at a time when food is, is prevalent, it's much harder for the bee who is a gatherer to remain lean. So they tend to have the issues that relate to being overweight, diabetes, that kind of thing. And that's, interestingly enough, what I am. I'm a gatherer. Um, Explorer is another possibility. Their challenge has to do with hormonal imbalance and brain strain. And then the, the more common uh, genotype for a bee blood type is the nomad and they're prone to neuromuscular and immune problems. Mm -hmm.